Hi again, this is John Muller with uh, the JP Muller Group, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use some of the features I've added into this sheet, as well as Google Sheets um, native functionality that exists to help um, collaborate. So the first thing I want to talk about is identifying risks in the project. We've already talked about how the colors will automatically kind of represent red or yellow. You can see yellow here for tasks that should have started, um, that hasn't started yet. But we indicated red would show up when we're past due on an item as well. But sometimes we actually want to identify something as risky, you know, yellow or red, even though it hasn't fallen outside of the constraints of the, 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 the dates yet. We, we, we may know of some information that makes this risky, we want it, I want to remember it, or I want to make it a discussion point in a governance meeting, etc. So I want a visual cue in my plan to help me remember to talk about this, let's say. So we can do that through this column, the risk Y or R, yellow or red. Notice they're all drop downs. So let's say I want to make this one a yellow. Just choose yellow there and it'll change the item to yellow. And let's say I want to make a different one red. And that's it. That's how you make a task yellow or red. Uh, again, it's all it is is a visual indicator um, that this is something I find risky, and I may be I may want to track it myself a little bit more closely, or have a discussion with some others about it. Uh, to reset it, I simply just delete the value, and uh, it'll reset the, um, the the hierarchical view as well. All right. Let's talk about some other things. Comments. Comments are a Google are Google Sheets functionality. They are there to help people collaborate and have a discussion about something. So let's say I want to have a discussion about this second task. What I could do is highlight that cell and right click it and scroll down to insert comment. Or like while in the cell, I could choose insert for the menu and choose comment over here. And it'll pop up a picture of myself as well as a, uh, a um, area where I can enter a comment. And I put, here are my comments. What do you think? And I can start putting people in here. So I'm going to put myself and I can put multiple people in here. When I do that, let me try to scroll over so you can see this exactly. I get this little grayed out area. Um, not only can I put somebody's name in here, but I could actually assign it to them. If I choose to assign this to them, it will actually send them an email that will link it back to here and let them know that something's been assigned and tell them the contents of the comment that I made. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And notice it's assigned to me in this case. And I could come in and write more notes. What do you think? Uh, let me see. I don't know if I have uh, somebody I could put on here. And then... And I could reassign it to him if I want, etc. I'm not going to. And I'm going to cancel this. Oh, th that's this is interesting. I signed it to somebody who doesn't have permissions for the sheet. Um, so it's basically telling me you might want to let them at least comment on this. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to take that reference out. And reply, and you'll start to see a conversation occur. Um, by clicking a check mark, we'll resolve this item. Let me just check something for a second. Okay. All right. Um, one thing to note that Google has some kind of periodic time frame or latency in which they go and they notify people. So I have not yet received this. It may take several minutes before I receive the email related to this. And to resolve this or say it's done, I can just cl click check basically to mark it as complete. And notice it doesn't show up here anymore. But I could always go up to here in comments and I could see a history. So let's do this without signing a task. Let's right click, we'll choose insert comment, put 
put a comment, blah, blah, blah. All right now, notice it has a resolve button instead of a check mark because it's not really assigned to anybody. And when you click resolve, it'll resolve it. But the whole idea with comments are that they're this stateful thing where we have a discussion, we resolve it, etc. And it disappears and it goes into my history here. Okay, those are comments. What we also have are uh, notes. So notes, um, you'll see I already have a few in here to indicate some information about these columns. And you can see it by that little triangle in the upper right of the cell. When I hover over the cell, the comments um, pop up and some are more uh, verbose than others. Um, but comments are things that are kind of meant to be there for, uh, you know, to, to stay there, not to be something that's stateful and we just kind of discuss and it's over. And you do it the same way. You right click and choose insert note or highlight the cell and choose insert note from the menu here and type whatever you want. And you can make that box smaller, or bigger, oops, back here, by grabbing that little corner of it, which I have no mouse skills, so I'm no good at it, but anyway, you could expand it and contract it and write whatever you want in here. And that's it. To clear a note, you right click and choose clear notes. And I think it's probably in the menu as well, but I'm not sure where. Um, and that's how you clear notes. Um, these are some of the, the built in features of Google Sheets, the notes and the comments. If you want to be a little bit uh, more interactive with your team in terms of uh, tracking this stuff in a log, that's what the action items tab is for. We showed that in a prior video if you want to go back and check that out. All right, thank you for uh, watching and keep the comments and uh, suggestions coming. Take care.